SpaceX now withdrawing U.S. combat troops from Islamic hellholes, Afghanistan. The Pentagon is preparing a withdrawal plan which would pull out about half of the 14,000 troops deployed there. President Donald Trump is set to withdraw thousands of U.S. troops from Afghanistan. That's according to a U.S. official on Thursday, who told Reuters the Trump White House is planning to withdraw more than 5,000 troops from the country. That's around a third of the 14,000 U.S. troops currently deployed in Afghanistan. Trump's call to withdraw troops from the country also coming just a day after his decision to withdraw from Syria. Joining me now, the founder of the American Truth Project and Daily Ledger contributor, Barry Nussbaum. Barry, I have no problem whatsoever pulling out of Afghanistan. I think there's another way to do this. I think there's another way to confine, and that's essentially what we've been doing. We haven't been wiping out, let's be honest, the Taliban. We've been confining them within essentially the borders of Afghanistan, possibly spilling into Pakistan, what have you. But Syria, Syria, this is a different story. It's a completely different story geopolitical dynamic. There are a lot of factors here, and a U.S. pullout creates a vacuum. There's no doubt about it. No one would argue that, including and affecting ISIS, which is still there, and we don't know how much longer they're going to be there. This is going to affect the Kurds. Um, certainly, it's a, an open door for Russia to take over what the United States was doing. Bashar al-Assad essentially gets a pass, and Iran. Iran is watching what's going on here. And I'm fearful, uh, Barry, I really am, that, that we are setting ourselves up for a repeat of what happened when Barack Obama and Joe Biden and company pulled unilaterally out of Iraq. Yeah, we've got two um, similar but um, different stories today we're talking about, Graham. The pullout from Afghanistan after 17 years will probably lead to the collapse of the Afghan regime, which is holding on by its teeth, even when we're just there uh, as advisors. Uh, the incoming commander of Central Command during his confirmation hearings said a pullout would be catastrophic for the stability and continuity of the Afghan government, which is barely a government and only in the major cities. It will open up Afghanistan for a Taliban takeover. However, as you said, Syria is much different and is potentially catastrophic. We only have a few thousand troops there. They're not in combat, they're advisors, but the ramifications of the pullout from Syria are gonna have profound, big effects with Russia, with Bashar al-Assad in Syria, with Turkey, and most terrifyingly, Hezbollah under the direction of Iran. All right, Barry, the let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me emphasize something here. I have to emphasize something, and that is the Israel component. Um, I, when I say there's a signal to Iran, the signal is, hey, the United States is out of there, there's an opening. Um, and there's a literally, there's a literal road, apparently, that can link Iran to Israel. And Israel can't be happy about this. Oh, off the record, Graham, the people I speak to in Israel are very upset to the point of angry and they're feeling uh, abandoned. Hezbollah has made no secret, that's the Iranian army in Syria, that they plan on invading northern Israel. All those tunnels that you've seen being discovered over the past few weeks, all in violation of UN Resolution 1701, all that the UN doesn't do anything about, have been advertised in both Tehran and by the Hezbollah news sources as the invasion route for their troops. And those troops are gonna be sent into northern Israel through the tunnels that haven't been found, supposedly there's dozens more, while missiles fly overhead. The fear of having U.S. troops on the ground there has prevented that until now. Clearly, what's going to happen is Iran's going to move in and fill that vacuum, and there's going to be no threat of the United States troops anywhere in the country. Yeah, and Turkey. That's going to particip and, and participate. And Turkey, and Turkey right? Turkey's going to wipe out response. the Kurds. Oh, yeah. Graham, they've already said it. They're yeah. going in after the Kurds, who according to our military, are our best advisors, best fighters, and the reason why ISIS is being wiped out. We're going to abandon them, and oh boy, does that send a bad message. I hope Trump changes his mind, I think, truly. I, I think he's listening to his advisors on this one, and he's probably even listening to, believe it or not, Lindsey Graham uh, on this one. We have forward positions like this one, strategic forward positions, if you want to call it that, 
in a hellhole like Syria so we don't have to fight the war against terrorists on our soil. And I think that Syria is a crucial component. Barry, thanks.